Five Ugandan soldiers have been convicted of murdering Somali citizens in Galway in August. Two have been given a death sentence, while the other three received 39 years each in prison. All will be returned to Uganda to have their sentences carried out. As soldiers, we have a responsibility to protect lives and property. Our mission in Somalia is to degrade Al-Shabaab and other armed groups. In doing so, we absolutely have every responsibility to protect the civilian population. And this is very clear in our rules of engagement. The troops were tried by a Ugandan tribunal set up in Mogadishu. As a military component of Amazon, we will, among our ranks, continue to ensure strict compliance with our obligations as we carry on with the task of pursuing integrating Al-Shabaab, ISIS, and other like-minded armed groups, as well as protecting population centers and securing critical infrastructure and sensitive sites in Somalia. The Ugandan peacekeepers were reportedly ambushed by Al-Shabaab operatives on the fateful day referred to in the prosecution. Frustrated, they took their anger out on local farmers who happened to be located nearby. Ugandan President Yauri Museveni had previously asserted their guilt and said they would be tried and sentenced. While the statement released by Amazon didn't mention any compensation to the families of the victims, that is expected. Amazon head of mission Francisco Madera did state his condolences to those families, adding that he deeply regrets the killing of the civilians and has once again conveyed his and Amazon's condolences to the bereaved families for the tragic incident. Family members of the victims reacted emotionally to the verdict. No executions have been carried out in Uganda since 2005, although almost 150 prisoners are still on death row. The sentence, when carried out there, would be done by hanging or shooting. ADN TV will continue to report on security and justice developments in Somalia and throughout Africa.